Hey there, beautiful friends. How are you? This is Gina from the Rebookery channel, and I am excited to share with you what I have been working on the past couple of days. I've been working like a mad woman trying to get these vintage sewing ephemera packs ready for my shop. So these packs are full of all kinds of vintage sewing notions and fabric and all, just all kinds of sewing goodness. Things that you would want to use in your journals if you were doing like a sewing journal um, or if you were making other crafts like maybe you were making cards or something that had a sewing theme these would be great packs for your stash this would this is gonna have a lot of sewing goodness and this is some of my most favorite sewing stuff that I have collected over the years like some of this stuff I have hung on to for many 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 years so I'm going to show you, I have 10 of these large packs. I'm going to show you what's inside one of them. And then the rest of them, they are all the exact same recipe. It's just they're going to have different um, designs or different colors. Or, you know, you might have something slightly different. But ultimately, everything will be the same. Okay, so the pouch that it comes in is some wallpaper from probably the 2000s or the 1990s, and it's the fabric uh, covered wallpaper. So there's essentially three sheets here that I've sewed together into this simple little pouch. I always find it um, better to craft when I have my stuff like in its own place. So I kind of feel that it's important when I do these ephemera packs that I give you guys something to put them in because the one thing that freaks me out is when I just have supplies everywhere and then I get so overwhelmed and I can't create. So I have found that a place for everything and everything in its place. And so this, your little pack will come with this pouch. So the pouch has a flap and I'll go inside here in just a second. And then it's got this little pocket here in the back where I've slipped some stuff in. And each one of the packs is similar to this. I've used the same, um, thing of wallpaper is just going to have different variations in color and then I sewed some fabric scraps on it and it'll just have different variations um, of the fabric scraps. So inside I have, okay so that's the inside of the pouch and then this is the inside of this little pocket right here. So let's go, let's go to, let's start at the back first. Okay, so the first thing is, is that I made a pocket out of the pattern packages. Now these pattern packages that I found were pretty, like all of this stuff is either thrifted or it's vintage um, or just really, really old. So these were some fabric packages, some or some pattern packages that I found at a thrift store. They were in pretty rough shape, but you know, why throw them away when we can find something to do with them? So I just zipped up the sides here with some stitching, added some fabric scraps, tried to reinforce the little um, flap here. Some of them I just had to take the flap off and you've got a little pocket. Now you can do a couple of different things with these. I personally like these to go in my journal. So I would maybe put this in, um, like let's say this is a journal page. I would maybe take some washi tape and just run it right here, flip it over, and then put another piece right here so it becomes like um, a flap. And that would be something awesome that you could do with these. Um, you could also just keep it like it is and tuck it into a pocket of a journal page or just keep it like it is and not put it in anything. Just keep some uh, little tags or something in it. And then inside I have a tag for you. This is a uh, garden greenhouse card and then I've just sewn some little scrap paper to it with a scrap of fabric and kind of left the little fringe and everything on it. So just a little card tucked inside of here or a journaling card tucked inside of here. So there's that. Then I have, um, you'll have a piece of a magazine 
for um, crochet, I think. Yeah, so this was a crochet magazine. So I had um, eight of these. So eight people will get a piece of this crochet magazine. And then two of you guys will get a mailer that went with the packaging of this uh, pattern. So it's like a, a little vintage, it's like 1960s little mailer, like you would mail it back in if you wanted to um, become part of their subscription club. And then, like I said, the other eight of you will get a piece of a crocheting magazine. Then I have a quilting square. And this is from a beautiful, beautiful um, little lady that has passed away and she was having all her sale, stuff up for sale and I was able to grab quite a bit of it. And so this is, this is truly made with love. So this is a, a quilt block that you will get. This is a nine square quilt block and every one of the packages has a different quilt block. And then you'll get a smaller four square quilt block also. So two quilt blocks made from the same little old lady. Um, I just will put in a little piece of bunting for you. It's a mini bunting that I've made with some quilting scraps. A triangle that is already quilted, like it's already been sewn. And so what um, the quilters would do is actually take another triangle and then, you know, sew them together and then sew them together and then they'd make a quilt from this. So it's nice and soft. You can feel that there's some batting in there. So each person will get one of these and again, diff totally different colors. Each person will get a bundle of some vintage fabric. So I've got it just tied with some lace and I've just got a little stick pin and then these are just all scraps. And most of these scraps came from the same little lady that the quilting squares came from. So just little remnants, little scraps of some groovy fabrics. Um, some of these are vintage fabrics and then some of these are, I believe some newer fabrics, but I know she hadn't sewn for a for several years. So, you know, we're talking if they're newer fabrics, they're probably 10 years or so old. Um, and I find that when I use fabric, first of all, I only use scrap fabric for whatever reason, I just don't ever go out and buy new fabric. And I find that the smaller the pieces, the easier it is for me to use. Um, there's just something about the smaller pieces that's not intimidating to me. And I find them easier to staple onto my pages or to paper clip them onto my pages. I even like the weird shapes. So that's what you're going to get in your little fabric bundle is just some scraps and some odd shapes and all different sizes. And then I put a bigger fat, bigger um, piece of like this white, nice white cottony fabric. So all of the bundles have the same fabrics in them. So you'll get all of these same colors. It'll just be different shapes and different sizes. And then the lace is um, a different size also, or I'm sorry, a different color also. So you may get some of them are blue, some of them are green, some of them are red, and then there's a little stick pin in there. Then you will get, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay, so some fabric, some pattern tissue, and I tried to pull from different um, pattern packages so you could get different uh, designs and different colors. You will get the insert that has different drawings and different diagrams. You will get another one. I must put two in there for everybody. You get one, and I tried to make sure that at least one of them had a picture of, I always like the um, the models that they have, like the ladies or the gentlemen that they have posing on those pattern packages. So I tried to make sure you always, you get one of those. Every package will get a vintage, and they're ranging from, I have some that are 60s, some that are 70s, um, work basket magazine, and you'll get the whole complete magazine. So I haven't done anything to them. I just got them from my little old quilting lady, and then 
put them in here. So unless she had torn a page out there, I did not tear any of the pages out. So you'll get a complete one of these. Then you will get three pages from a quilting magazine and I believe it is 1967. I could be wrong on that, it might be 1971. So I apologize that the pages had to be folded, but there was no way I was gonna be able to fit them in the package. And I didn't, I don't know, I didn't wanna cut them down because the photographs went right to the edge. And that's just, I don't know, that's just a lot of good stuff that you can use, especially if you like to use little details. So I just folded them in half, but you'll get three pages. And I tried to um, make sure you had a mix and match of colorful ones and then some black and white ones. And that's from a quilting magazine. Then you're gonna get, I now I love these. So when you buy zippers or old zippers, I guess, I don't know. I don't I don't sew with zippers other than like for my journals and stuff. I'll sew zippers on the side of a page or something. But so I guess so this one's 1973. So they came in these packages. And I love these packages. They always have a little cellophane window. There's always diagrams, they're nice cardboard. I have used these for like cutting them in half and making pockets. So they, again, it wouldn't fit, so I just gently folded it. And then I took a zipper and put a zipper in also, and it may or may not be the zipper that goes with that package, but each pack, each ephemera pack will get a zipper package and a zipper. Each ephemera pack will get a yo-yo hand sewed by me. So buttons, oh my gosh, all right, so, this same little old quilt lady, she had a lot of buttons. And so I love the button cards because I love the card. I mean, the buttons are awesome, but I love the cards themselves. They're just, I don't know, there's something about them. The old branding, the old names on them. Um, so some of these are newer and some of these are older, but you'll get some button cards and then some of, I always, I love when I get new clothes and it has like the little packages with the buttons and the little stitching and stuff. So you'll get a couple of those. And then I always love clothing tags too because there's so many cool things you can do with clothing tags. Like um, they, I mean, you can put them in your journaling. They can become tags. You can write over them. You can paint them. So I put some clothing tags in there. And then just some um, like different fabric sewing, I don't wanna say tools, cause they're not really tools, but they're just, they're just things. They're just like button covers and snaps and buckles. And so you'll get some packages of these. And again, I like these because the packaging themselves are so cool. Like you could take this and put this in a journal page or turn it into a journal card. So the packaging to me is almost cooler than the actual stuff that's in the packaging. And then um, some buckles, um, some snaps, some bra extenders. There were a few of those that I put in. <laughs> I thought those were kind of cool. And then this is a, and I didn't realize this until last night when I went to bed, but um, so this is an old measuring tape and I know where I got it from. At first I was like, oh, it must've just been something I picked up. Nope, this was my grandma's. So you will get my grandma's, had I realized this, I don't know that I would've cut it up, but that's okay. Um, better to go to somebody who's going to use it than to just hang out here and sit in a drawer. So this was my grandma's measuring tape and everybody will get six inches of this old measuring tape. And I think, and one of you guys will get it, the emblem said it was made in England, so I thought that was kind of cool. Seam binding packaging. I love seam binding packaging, the little tags and stuff that come with it. So you'll get some seam binding packaging. Um, I'll put a couple of those in there, and then you'll just get a brand new, well, not brand new. I mean, they're old. They're thrifted. I got them from, you know, the little old lady, or I've got them in a thrift store, but they're, um, they haven't been opened. So you'll get a, a seam binding or a lace or I'm trying to think there was one other one that I had. Anyway, you'll get a package just like this. Everybody will get a different color and a different type. 
And then a couple uh, little old vintage cards, playing cards that came from my quilt lady. And I just thought they were kind of cute. And since I bought them at the same time that they bought the quilt stuff, I just thought, you know, they needed to stay together. And then this is um, just a playing card that I have. And I put some washi on here, so you've got like, I don't know, I think this is like 24 inches of washi, but this tape right here, this is kind of cool. Okay, so this is some Scotch brand sewing tape, and I don't know how new or how old this is. So I pulled um, off about 10 inches, so I just wrapped 10 inches around this little card. And I tried it, and it is repositionable, so it kind of works like washi. Um, I cut it. I don't know that you can tear it very well, but I cut it. So anyway, you'll get about 10 inches of that. And that is what I have in my sewing kits. Now I'm probably going to put some more stuff in, just some little extras, because there's some few things, you know, that I want to throw in, just so you're kind of surprised when you open it up. But just know that they will be crammed full of all kinds of goodness. Now, I also want to put in, I'm going to have 10 of these that I'm going to put in the shop. I also want to put in some more of the Vintage Kitchen ephemera packs that I had a couple of weeks ago. So I'm trying to finish those up because I want to get those in. I know there was a few of you guys that weren't able to get one last time. So I want to work on those, get those in also. And then if I have time, and I don't know if I'm going to have time, but if I have time, I was thinking about making another because I have enough sewing stuff enough of my good sewing stuff that I could maybe put together a smaller pouch with uh, less stuff and it would just kind of be a smaller kit but I don't know I don't know it's already like two o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday open them up for sale tomorrow morning Sunday morning at I'm thinking 8 a.m central standard time so if I do, I'm going to have to really book it and get them going. Um, so I'll, I'll see on that. But definitely the 10 sewing vintage sewing ones will be in the shop tomorrow at 8 a.m. And my other vintage kitchen ones will be in the shop tomorrow at 8 a.m. Anyway, I think that's it. Guys, have a great rest of the day. I appreciate, appreciate you all hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this has kind of got your creative juices flowing and maybe you're gonna run and go get your sewing machine and do some fun things. And I know I can't wait to journal because I have some great things I wanna journal about just from going to this sale and talking to this little old lady's family um, there was such a sweet story that went with this stuff, and so I want to journal about it. So I'm hoping to um, get a process video up sometime this week um, where I journal about all of this fabulous stuff that I was able to get and this wonderful family that I met. All right, guys, in the shop tomorrow, Sunday, October, what is it, 21st, 22nd? Is tomorrow the 22nd? Sunday, October 22nd at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Love you. See you later. Bye.